Hi guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about buying and fly type of quad. Um, when you buy a buying and fly quad, does it mean that you can start binding and then you can fly straight away? Um, the answer is no. Most of the time, you need to uh, do a, a basic setup on in clean flight before you can actually fly it, even though you have the quad bound already. So let me bind this and then I can then explain it to you. So let's connect the battery. Okay, now the light starts blinking quickly. So what I need to do is uh, go on uh, my transmitter and put it in binding mode. Lights goes off, release, it's done. So this is now bound, as you can see, the LED lights changes. So normally for bind and fly, you can fly this straight away, but as you can see, when I move the throttle, nothing happens so I need to connect this to clean flight and then I can explain why so hi guys so I have now connected the uh, quadcopter to clean flight so I've taken out the battery because it doesn't need the battery in this instance because you can still, uh, the, the transmitter is still connected to the uh, quadcopter. So let's, let's go to the uh, clean flight screen and let's connect. So let me just quickly do calibrate first. And let me go to uh, the receiver. So if I move the throttle, it's on the correct channel. So that's fine. Pitch. Yes, roll, reverse. So I need to reverse the channel later. Same thing with, with your. So the reason that you cannot arm this is because you have to set up the mode first. So in this instance, you can see on the screen that the arm is on the uh, auxiliary 1 and the angle is on auxiliary 2. So the auxiliary 1, I think is this one, this switch. In this video, I'm going to just quickly show you uh, the arming process first. And in terms of the other settings, uh, I have other videos to show you, but for these purposes, just uh, concentrate on this switch. So this is the arm switch. So the arm is set and then we go to uh, receiver mode. The throttle is fine. So let's see if I connect the battery and see whether if we arm it, see whether it works or not. See, it doesn't work even though I have armed the quad. So this shows you that a bind and fly doesn't work straight out of the box and you need to do a further step and this is the further thing that you need to look at which is the throttle. If you look at the throttle on the screen, it's not at 1000. It is at 1,132, so it doesn't, um, although the quad is arm, it, the throttle doesn't work until the um, throttle is between 
1,000 and 2,000 or the minimum is 1,000 so what you can do is to quickly do it you just press the uh, trim button down make it go to 1,000 and then now if I arm this this is going to work So I've just show you that bind and fly doesn't work straight away. You need to do a further settings, which is to go into the arm, to the mode uh, tab, and then you do the arming um, selection and assignment. And then you need to go to the receiver and make sure that the uh, throttle is 1000 at the minimum. Then it works. So okay, guys, hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos until next time cheers